Welcome to Easy Microbiology. Good afternoon, everyone. I am pleased to present to you my presentation on Clostridium tetani. During this presentation, I will discuss its habitat, morphology, cultural characteristics, biochemical characteristics, host range, virulence factors, mechanisms of antibiotic resistance, epidemiology and pathogenesis. I invite you to follow me on this informational journey. C. Tatani is an incredibly dangerous and potentially fatal bacterium. It is a spore-forming bacterium, capable of infecting humans when spores enter broken or open skin. It causes a serious neurological disorder known as tetanus, leading to extreme muscle stiffness, spasms, and even death. To safeguard health and protect those around you, it is important to take the time to learn more about this bacterium and the measures to take for prevention. Clostridium tetani is a bacterium that can cause serious health problems. Found in soil and animal feces, it can also be present in the digestive tracts of animals such as horses and cows. If infected, it can lead to tetanus, a condition marked by severe muscle spasms, lockjaw, and even death. To protect oneself from this, it is important to practice proper hygiene and sanitation practices. Clostridium tetani is a type of bacteria that can form spores, making them highly resilient to heat, drying, and even disinfectants. These spores, when inhaled, can lead to the onset of a range of symptoms, such as muscle spasms and stiffness particularly in the jaw, neck, and other areas of the body. The disease itself is fatal when left untreated, so it is necessary to take precautionary steps to prevent the transmission of Clostridium tetani. Clostridium tetani is a bacterium found in soil and in the intestines of humans and other animals. It produces an anaerobic environment and is the cause of tetanus. In a laboratory setting, its colonies are small and round in shape with a drumstick shape. It grows on a variety of media, such as blood agar and Robertson's cooked meat medium. Knowing the characteristics of Clostridium tetani can help to identify its presence. C. Tetani is a dangerous bacterium commonly found in soil and animal feces, producing a toxin that can cause the life-threatening disorder tetanus. As an obligate anaerobe, it cannot survive in oxygen-rich environments and is capable of fermenting carbohydrates such as glucose, fructose, and maltose. Without proper treatment, C. Tetani can lead to serious health problems. C. Tetani is a bacterium that can cause a potentially fatal form of tetanus, primarily in humans, but also in animals such as horses, cattle, and other mammals. Infection is caused by C. Tetani entering the bloodstream through deep wounds. Symptoms can include severe muscle spasms, difficulty breathing, and even death. Taking steps to prevent the spread of C. Tetani and seeking medical attention immediately if you think you may have been infected is essential. Clostridium tetani is known to cause a serious disease called tetanus, with its primary virulence factor tetanospasmin, being a neurotoxin that interferes with the release of neurotransmitters in the central nervous system, resulting in muscle rigidity and spasms. Awareness of this particular bacteria and taking the necessary precautions to prevent its spread is thus essential. Clostridium tetani is a bacterium that can cause serious infection and is generally susceptible to penicillin and other beta-lactam antibiotics. Resistance to these drugs can be caused by the bacterium producing beta-lactamases, yet this can be combated by using additional antibiotics and treatments. Action should be taken to combat the spread of antibiotic resistance in Clostridium tetani and other bacteria, in order to protect public health and prevent infections. Tetanus, or lockjaw, is an infection caused by Clostridium tetani which primarily affects the muscles and can cause painful muscle spasms and stiffness. Despite preventive measures such as vaccination and proper wound care being widely available, it remains a public health concern in developing countries due to limited access to healthcare and vaccines. 
To reduce the risk of tetanus, it is important to be vaccinated and keep up with booster shots, as well as practice good wound care by promptly and properly cleaning wounds, as the infection is spread by contact with the spores in dirt or soil. Pathogenesis of Clostridium tetani is an interesting process. Spores of the bacterium can enter the body via wounds or cuts. Once in the body, the spores germinate and release neurotoxin tetanospasmin. It then travels to the central nervous system where it interferes with the release of neurotransmitters, causing muscle rigidity and spasms. Comprehending this process is essential in treating this infection effectively. The body produces antibodies to fight infection by Clostridium tetani or tetanus. Vaccination with tetanus toxoid stimulates the production of these antibodies and provides immunity against the disease. Staying on top of immunizations is essential for the body to receive the necessary protection. Symptoms of tetanus infection include jaw cramping, stiff neck and abdominal muscles, and difficulty swallowing. If left untreated, it can lead to serious health issues such as difficulty breathing and heart failure. For diagnosis, healthcare professionals consider symptoms in the patient's history of recent injury or wound. In addition, Laboratory testing may be performed to detect the presence of the bacteria or its spores. Recognizing the signs and symptoms of tetanus and seeking medical attention promptly is critical in preventing complications. Disease caused by a toxin produced by Clostridium tetani, a bacteria found in soil, dust and manure, tetanus is a serious and potentially deadly condition. Vaccinating against tetanus with tetanus toxoid can help protect individuals from this disease. It is typically administered as part of the routine childhood vaccination schedule, with periodic booster shots throughout adulthood necessary to maintain protection. Tetanus, also known as lockjaw, is a serious infection that can be fatal if not treated properly. It's caused by the bacteria Clostridium tetani, which enters the body through open wounds. The primary treatment for tetanus is supportive care, including wound management, muscle relaxants, and respiratory support. In addition, antibiotics such as penicillin may be used to eliminate the bacteria. In severe cases, hospitalization and intensive care may be necessary. Now more than ever, it is important to stay up to date with both tetanus shot vaccinations and wound care to prevent this serious infection. Thank you for your attention.